welcome back to another episode of Vlogtober. Today is day 10 and we're just gonna be doing a fun little recipe in our crock pot today. So yeah, this is I'm gonna be making broccoli cheddar soup in the crock pot and I just want to show you guys how I make it. But yeah, I'm gonna be following T. Beeston's recipe here on YouTube. Her, I think her YouTube name is Beauty and the Beeston. So yeah, I'm gonna be following her recipe. So if you guys wanna make it, I'll link her video down below for you guys. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, first thing you need is your potatoes. So just grab like, I don't know, like four to six potatoes. I'm just making like a small amount because I don't know if my family will eat this. So I'm just gonna be making like just a small amount. I'm probably only gonna use four potatoes. And I'm gonna go wash these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you're done, your potatoes should look like this after you chop them up. So the recipe calls for um, two and a half cups of chicken broth or stock. I'm gonna be using this beef flavored. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on, let me try to focus it for you guys. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna be using this beef flavored stuff, so I'm gonna make my own stock. So yeah, I'm just gonna get two thirds of water in here and I'll come back and add a couple of tablespoons of this stuff. So yeah, I got my water. And I'm just gonna add at like three tablespoons of this flavoring in here to make my own broth. So that's a trip if you don't want, sorry if you hear the kids, that's like a tip if you don't want to buy the stock, you just make your own. So I'm just gonna add two because that's kind of a lot. And if it's not flavor, I'm gonna add more seasons too, but yeah. Just stir this up and pour it over your potatoes until they cover them. So I'm gonna show you that now. done adding that go ahead and turn your crock pot on low and you're gonna cook this for about four hours so I turned it on low and I'm about to add some salt and pepper and just my other seasons that I would normally add just so I can have more flavor than just the broth so yeah let me do that right now So after you do that, go ahead and place the lid on and set your timer for four hours and come back and add your cheese and broccoli. And that is it. And you're gonna crisp up some bacon. I'll show you guys that when we get to it. So I decided to cut up a little bit of purple onion and I'm also gonna add a little bit of this minced garlic because I forgot I just said to add some of that. So yeah, I'm gonna add those things. And yeah, I'm just cutting up like not even half of an onion. I'll show you guys in just a second. So I just cut about this much of the onion and I'm only gonna add like one tablespoon of garlic. Okay, so 
So add your broccoli after you cut your potatoes out. So I'm gonna add this, this one pack of these. I think I'm gonna use just one of these. I might use two, I don't know, but I'm just gonna use frozen because I don't have fresh right now. And actually, actually you're supposed to turn it up to high, so I put it up to high because it's only gonna cook for three to four hours, so yeah. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna wanna add your bacon to your soup. I don't have that much bacon, so I'm just like crushing mine in there. You could just leave them whole or you can crush them. I'm gonna add more that's in the pot too. Cook in a little bit more. I'm probably gonna save it for the top of the soup for my garnish, but yeah. Just add it to your soup. You can add more pieces if you want. I only added this much because I only had a little bit of bacon thawed out. So yeah, add your bacon. Okay guys, so it's been four hours. Our soup is pretty much done. The potatoes are soft. You just wanna make sure the potatoes are soft so you won't have hard potatoes when you're eating it. But yeah, now you're gonna add your two thirds cups of heavy whipping cream. I actually made my own. This is just butter and milk, so that's why it looks like this. But you use heavy whipping cream, just two thirds of that. And yeah, so I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna put the camera down because I can't do this with one hand, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, I put the cam put the camera down, and you're just gonna add in your heavy whipping cream, and just kind of stir it in. I think I'm gonna add more because I have more liquid to mine, so I'm gonna add more to mine. If you've made more, add more. Just it's just to where you want it to look like creamy, like. So yeah, so I just added a little bit more, and this is what it looks like. And now you're gonna go in and add one cup of cheese. I'm using the Mexican style blend cheese. So it says one cup. I don't measure cheese, I'm just gonna sprinkle it in and stir it around. So yeah. The more cheese, the more cheesier. Just so you know, so yeah. So this is how it's looking. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. Like, when I say a little bit, this is a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, add your cheese. 